All right, Shalak, it's part two. Um, I had a brief interruption. But nonetheless, where was I? 37. All right. Wait on the Lord, keep his ways, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. So we're supposed to be waiting on the Lord and keeping his ways. What was part of his ways? Be harmless as doves, right? And then he said, what? We're going to, he's going to exalt us to uh, inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. So who's supposed to cut off the wicked? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, in due time. And also, uh, uh, the Lord is going to do it by our hand when he give us that spirit. But not right now. When you read, uh, what's that? Uh, matter of fact. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. So the Lord has to give us that power first. All right? Not us doing it on our own accord. Because guess what? Vengeance is whose? The Lord, the Lord always say. Vengeance is mine. Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. All right? So, hey, vengeance belongeth to the Lord, man. All right? That's it. Hey, like it says, vengeance is his. Okay? Romans 12 and 19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. There you go. But rather give peace, so I get rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, and I will pay, and I will repay, saith Yahweh. All right? So if, if this guy really believed in the truth, and he could, he could just be an actor, an agent. You know how Esau is with his false flags and, um, Ordered, uh, Op Operation Northwood, and uh, basically in that you had a lot of uh, government officials, so-called, you know, acting like they're regular citizens down in Cuba, uh, committing terrorist attacks so America could um, infiltrate or, 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 or be given a reason to set foot on Cuba. All right, the same things they're doing today, man. All right. So vengeance is Yahweh's, all right? Vengeance is Yahweh by Shemir Shai. But guess what, Esau? This is, this will happen according to uh, prophecy, though. Guess what? This will happen according to prophecy. Let's get it. <laughs> and if you're a man of the Lord, this is what you're truly going to wait for, man. Not no fucking gun, not no carnal-ass weapon. Like the scripture says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, all right? This is Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, and they should do according uh, they should do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they should know my vengeance, saith Yahweh, thy power. So all this is going to happen anyway. The Lord is going to let us get a, a piece of the cake. But guess what? We have to wait on the Lord. And guess what, Esau? The elect is going to wait on the Lord. So you could do whatever. Whatever you want, you could you could spin the narrative however the fuck you want to. But guess what? This will happen. Let me let me give you some prophecies, man. Let me hit you where it hurt. Micah four and thirteen. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt break in pieces many people. It's for you, for you so-called Jewish people too. Y'all believe in the Torah. Y'all believe in the prophets. This is going to happen, man. And obviously you guys are the fake people. So this is a message to the whole world. When Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, give us that power, you guys are going to see violence on a scale you've never seen it before, man. And thus shall Babylon the Great <laughs> go down with great violence, man. All right? 
It says, and beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. But there's more. Micah 5 and 7. And the remnant of Jacob should be in the midst of many people as the dew from Yahweh. So have you ever seen uh, like a big field covered with dew? All right. Imagine that. Imagine the people on top of another people like the dew on top of grass, like white on rice, basically. OK. And as the showers upon the grass that tariff not for no man, nor waited for the sons of man. And the remnant of Jacob should be amongst the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lung a lion. I mean, as a lion amongst the beast of the forest. All right. As a young lion amongst the flock of the sheep. So not only is this a lion, it's a lion in its prime, a young lion, not a lion, not an old lion. All right. Who, if you go through both tear down and tear into pieces and none can deliver. Thy hand should be lifted up against thy adversary and all thy enemies should be cut off. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that violence will happen, but not by our own accord. Matter of fact. Let me get this. It's Revelations 2 and 27. Matter of fact, starting at 26. Oh, 25. But that which you have, hold fast till I come, which is this truth. All right? We're going to be patient. We're going to suffer through whatever we need to suffer. We're going to endure to the end so we can receive what? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him would I give power over the nations. All right. And I just read uh, unto you uh, certain things we will do to these nations. And he will uh, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as a vessel of the potter. They should be broken into shivers, even as I have received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that have an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit uh, saith unto the churches, man. So the Lord is going to give us that power. The Lord is going to raise us up. We just have to be patient and wait on it. Not take it, uh, 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 avenge ourselves, like Paul said, man. It's written that uh, vengeance is the Lord's, man, not ours. Okay? So like I said, when you when you look up some of this stuff, and look, uh, one of the persons that died was an immigrant, which which was more than likely... Yeah, he was from Ecuador. He was a Jake. So you think a, a Jake in the truth was going to go out and uh, 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 murder another Jake for no fucking reason? It, yeah, I smell fish, man. All right? A lot of this shit don't even link up, man. See, domestic terrorism. Oh, it was a hate It was a hate group. Anti-Semitic. Anti First of all, nobody on this planet Earth is from Sim. That's a bullshit name. It's Shum. All right? And you guys are anti-Israel. You guys are anti-Mashiach. All right? So guess what? You guys are clean contrary to us. That's that enmity between uh, thy seed and her seed. All right? This is a whole battle against Jacob and Esau. But guess what? We're going to wait on the Lord. We ain't going to be like Esau and just, you know, swing the sword. All right? The only sword we're going to swing is spiritual. All right, a spiritual sword. Which you, you guys are getting cut up right now. Here alone, you're getting cut up. All right? You, you know, YouTube's already trying to take down all the videos. Oh, this shit. Who are the black? It's like, come on, man. Follows a rise in hate crime. Oh, my gosh, man. Honestly, fuck them. But nonetheless, it, we, 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 we know what you people trying to do, man. So... Hey, try your worst, try your best, man. But your how about Shemiah is going to bless. All right? So with that, hey, I pray this was uh, edifying. I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Kar Kadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of uh, Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad, Baba.